Target making license plates. One notorious California prison is trying to turn criminals into coders. Inmates are taking classes to learn how to become computer programmers when they get out. Omar Villafranca takes a look. Computer code may look like gibberish, but for those who write the language of the Internet, coding is well-paid and sought-after work. It is also very tough to learn. It's definitely a challenge for me. 41-year-old Tim Thompson is an inmate at San Quentin Prison in California, locked up since 1996, before the Internet radically changed the way most of us live and work. I hear the Internet is big out there now. You know, um, I've been in prison a while, you know, so I've never really had a chance to um, experience the Internet. But yet you're writing the language of the future. Yes. Thompson was selected with 17 others to be part of this groundbreaking prison class. Render is a word that means take something that isn't visual and make it visual. Among the blank stares, there is the hope of one day becoming a coder who makes $25 an hour. Sean Drost was recruited by Silicon Valley venture capitalist Chris Redlitz to design the skill building program to help reduce California's 61% recidivism rate. Are you talking to businesses who are ready to hire these people? Yes. It's a large demand industry. And to be very frank, if you can write great code, people don't really care about anything else. Do you want to do this? I'm loving to do this. As Gary man, Hollis's 20-year sentence started, for attempted like murder will end in May. Did you ever think you would be a computer geek? No, never thought of that. <laughs> Making some good money. Making excellent money. A lot more than the 35 cents an hour he's paid to take the six-month, eight-hour-a-day class. California's Department of Corrections prohibits Internet access inside prison walls, so this coding class pretends to be online. That also means the app Chris Schumacher designed exists only on his computer. It's an idea for an online life coaching service that empowers addiction recovery through physical fitness. Have you ever played with an app? Never. Ever? Never. I mean, I've been in prison 15 years. As hard as it is to teach in prison, there are victories. Give me a show of thumbs on whether or not you're following me so far. Have you had your aha moment? I have had several aha moments where I said, okay, now I'm, I'm on my way. Almost every week there's epiphanies, you know, and most of the guys in here, they've never touched a computer before and they're progressing beyond our expectations. I'd like to honor the employee of the month for February, Mr. Tim Thompson. In this San Quentin classroom, these inmates are treated as employees. Their good work is rewarded. 20 years ago, you were saying that you were living the gang life. Yes. Would you call yourself now almost a computer geek? I definitely would like to at some point be able to say I'm a, I'm a true programmer, I'm a true nerd, I'm a true computer geek now, and um, I would love to have that label. Thompson and all of his classmates are scheduled to graduate next month with the chance to make it as computer coders. Omar Villafranca for CBS This Morning Saturday in San Quentin, California. Such an interesting idea. You heard Omar there say $25 an hour when they yep. get out. So their salary is about 50 grand when they're done with it. That is a very healthy living. And as you know, as we said, some of these guys never used the internet before. It's amazing what's happening there.